Hi, this is Randy. I'm going to attempt to put uh, my ideas into words here once again. This is a combination of other people's research and my personal experience and observation regarding the dating world today with an emphasis on people over 40 who are single. So it will sound like it's a pretty grim explanation, but in a way, we as women should not take it personal, and that's the silver lining. So let's start off with the premise that there are no narcissists or cluster B personality, male or females, running around uh, functioning and screwing things up for a whole lot of people. Let's remove them from the equation and act like they're not there for this argument. So what we have left is men and women. Men want the physical body of a woman and they want uh, basically cooperation from the woman. Low drama. That's the simplified explanation of what they want. Pretty much their expectations are low. They're very low in comparison to what a woman's expectations are and you can attribute this to biology or whatever nonetheless it seems to be true in other words all women really need to be worried about is what our dress size is however to simplify if we could possibly simplify what it is that women are looking for in men to partner. Women want an equal or higher intelligence and this is often correlated with the man's education. It does not have to be and that's going to be the point later on in this in this analysis that education doesn't necessarily attribute or um, identify or point to higher or equal intelligence of the woman. So <clears throat> uh, women also want ambition and motivation. They want to see that in a man. They want cognitive and emotional intelligence. And some of them even dare care about the man's looks. The more it seems that you care about the man's actual physical appearance, uh, the worse your chances are in actually finding somebody suitable. And I speak from experience. So as humans get older, our physical bodies, which is what men want and care about primarily, uh, they, de they tend to decline, both men's and women's bodies decline. This is something we know. But um, men tend to want younger because young often means in shape. You haven't had those years to accumulate the five pounds a year and you have gotten busy with life and you don't exercise and your metabolism is slowing. It's natural as a woman that this happens. It happens to men too. Um, the other thing that they want, cooperation, well, that's not going to be hard to find if we remove the narcissist from the, from the equation. But women wanting the equal cognitive emotional intelligence, which is kind of a blanket term, which means a whole range of other things. It means good sense of humor, a decent job, a balanced uh, life, balancing uh, social work, intimate relationships, finances, 
all of these things can point to someone who has emotional and cognitive intelligence because they would naturally be able to balance out the different aspects of their lives. So often we will also look to education of a man to begin with in order to weed out and decide whether or not they may have these other qualities and the likelihood that they would have them and we look to their education to determine this when we're online dating or even when we're meeting someone in person we do like to find out if they're a college graduate or not especially if we as the woman are a college graduate but as we know men and me men are becoming less and less educated they're falling way behind women in terms of college education uh, women are not dependent on the man's money anymore so how much money they have is unimportant it's not really the key here it's whether or not they have cognitive emotional intelligence whether they can keep up with the woman's uh, cognitive functioning and whether that IQ is compatible and whether or not they can keep up with the woman's emotional functioning and in this aspect men are falling way behind and have have always done so in general on the emotional IQ continuum they're way behind women on this so I was watching a YouTube interview between Stefan Molyneux and John Berger John Berger is an author and Steph Stefan Molyneux is a philosopher and um, this John Berger was being interviewed he wrote a book called Datanomics, How Dating Became a Lopsided Numbers Game. So he at least sees and sympathizes with the woman's plight and doesn't blame us for not being able to find a decent man. Um, he said that 35% more women than men graduate from college and that there are not enough college educated men for the educated women and this has a great effect on monogamy because of the pool that's available for women uh, that's a whole nother talk and if you want to watch this interview you should look it up on YouTube it was recently posted by Stefan Molyneux and freedomainradio.com. So this author focuses on educated people and he uh, says that women automatically weed out men who are uh, only having a high school diploma regardless of whether or not they own a business and they're assuming that they're not going to be compatible with them IQ wise because they did not go to college and he said that this is a mistake and that we should never rule out uh, prior to even meeting someone the fact that they don't have the same education as us because it may mean that they are not going to be compatible with us cognitively but it also may not mean that that there are plenty of working uh, class males who um, are financial, financially stable. They can um, match us in IQ compatibility. Uh, however, they just did not get that formal uh, college education and they should never be ruled out. However, I wanted to also add the emotional IQ component. Um, so when you think about uh, younger single men and think about what are the chances that uh, young single men have a college education well 
that's pretty low because less and less of them are even attending college. What are the chances that the, a young single man is financially stable? Well, that's pretty low because he has not had the time to gather up that momentum and that history um, to gain financial stability. What, is the, what are the chances that a sing young, young single man has a high emotional IQ? Well, it's low because they have not had time to develop it and uh, whether or not they will even ever decide that this is important is, is a question. What young single men do have, in my opinion, is they have looks, they have humor, because they haven't been completely tainted by society yet. They still have their humor. And the other thing that they have is time. They have time on their side and time to develop these other aspects of themselves. So in that way, they do have potential. And those kinds of men who, if you could tell the future, were going to develop those kinds of potentials would be a good prospect for also a young single woman. What are the chances that an older single man uh, has a, a high education or a, uh, a graduate degree or a, a college degree? Well, it's slightly higher than a younger man, but it's also still low, comparatively speaking. Um, what are the chances that an older single man is financially stable? Well, it's slightly higher than a younger man, but um, then again, they also are likely to have child pay, be paying child support. Um, businesses tend to hire younger, and I know a lot of men that feel that they're going to get fired when they turn 50 because the uh, work world wants the younger people. Uh, they don't really want to start off uh, with older guys a lot of times. So um, their ability is kind of, it, it, it increases, but it decreases at the same time. Um, what is the likelihood that an older single man has humor? Well, it's it's low because they've been damaged through past relationships a lot of times, and they've also uh, are in the midst of a midlife crisis or beyond a midlife crisis, and they become bitter. So their their sense of humor uh, tends to be low. And what is the chances that the older single man has good looks? Well, it's not very good because their looks are uh, deteriorating with age just naturally. And you will see many of them uh, trying to post pictures of themselves working out and with uh, their bare chest in the bathroom sort of thing, showing their muscles because they're desperate. That's the only thing that they, you know, actually feel I think that they have control over. So uh, what are the chances that an older single man has high emotional intelligence well I I think it's pretty low um, uh, they have had time to develop it but they haven't been focused on it and uh, most of them do not develop it so really the, my conclusion is what is really there for any kind of a older high-value woman to pick from who is in this pool that we can actually find as some kind of an equal. Um, we are reluctant to marry down, and I'm not even talking about marrying down educationally. I'm talking about we need to find someone who's compatible with our own IQ, and um, it's important, compatibility is important because it's, you know, long-term thing. And um, so then when you put narcissists back into the equation, the whole thing kind of seems hopeless, but this man, John Berger, does sympathize, and he explains it as a numbers game, and that we shouldn't really blame ourselves for not finding someone, because even him, he sees that the pool that we have to pick from is extremely scarce. Well, sorry about the negative um, synopsis. Thanks for listening.